Hello all, this video is on the new audio playback boards designed by Circuits World. These are useful to playback high quality mp3 format audio files. There are two versions, first version with flash AC, that is 25Q30 to 32 flash AC. Second version is with the pen drive version. You can access the mp3 files from the pen drive or in the first version you can access the mp3 files uh, stored in the flash AC 25Q32. The board is built on a 8-bit RISC microcontroller and there is also an audio processor IC and in the flash version there is 25Q32 which is 4MB flash serial flash IC to the right another 8 pin IC is there which is audio amplifier 2 watt amplifier 8002 IC so you can connect a speaker directly and there is also a mono pre output in the flash version in the pen drive version it is stereo pre output and uh, the power required for the flash AC is 3.3 volt so your onboard 3.3 volt regulator is on the flash version as such board requires 5 volt 1 ampere so the ground pin and 5 volt pins are provided apart from that there are serial pins TX or X to access from external microcontroller other option to access the file is through these 8 pins so you can provide a ground pulse uh, to access first 8 files in the pen drive version this uh, 25Q32 IC is missing so you can access files from the pen drive but uh, the audio amplifier is same 8002 and in the pen drive version the preamp output is uh, stereo so you can connect an external audio amplifier uh, for a good uh, volume output external power supply of 5 volt 1 amps can be connected to this pins g and plus 5 apart from that there are the serial pins tx and rx to access the uh, files using at commands for a flash version you need a usb cable like this a to a cable to connect with the pc after loading the files you have to remove this uh, wire from the pc you can also connect speaker directly to the SPK pins that is a speaker pins as it has got on board amplifier you require an external power supply like this we use this uh, external power supply board which can be supplied with a 9 volt 1 ampere adapter on board there is 3.3 and 5 volt regulators we are going to use the 5 volt uh, connections so ground to ground and 5 volt to 5 volt take uh, care to connect the uh, notice the polarity for now connect the usb cable to pc the board will open as a flash drive open the flash drive on the pc so you can see one folder 01 folder that is a sample folder which has got eight files inside 001 to 008 these are just mp3 files uh, sample mp3 files uh, playing back the numbers from one to eight so this module can support 99 folders 01 to 99 naming and each folder can store up to 255 files in three digit decimal format 001 to 255 so addressing up to 25,000 audio files is possible with this board after connecting after loading the uh, mp3 files you have to remove the usb cable this is very important for accessing the files let us connect a ground wire and then uh, touch on the uh, address pins there is a eight pins are there separately one, you access one. the each file by triggering Two, yeah, low pulse three, four, five, six, seven, so you can play back the eight, eight files by triggering uh, ground pulse using this eight pins the other way to access the files through the serial port by giving AT commands. Take a closer look at these pins. First pin is ground, second is 5 volt, third is TX pin and the fourth one is the RX pin. So you, from external microcontroller you can give AT commands. For testing we will be using this uh, CP2102 uh, USB to serial device. The connection is simple. Ground to ground, TX to RX and the RX to TX. So reverse connection, plug in the USB to TTL onto your PC and note down the COM, COM port allotted. We will be using a terminal software, the name itself is terminal, the download link is given in the description below. 
to con- communicate with the audio board we have other options like uh, putty and cool tone but this uh, terminal software is preferred as it has got macro options to send hex or decimal along with the ascii characters this is very special to this terminal software no other terminal software has this facility so for sending hex we will be using dollar symbol and for sending uh, decimal we will be using hash symbol this is related to the uh, terminal software only and while using arduino we will not be using this dollar sign or hash so download this terminal software and open the terminal software on the top you have uh, the port selection you can click on rescan and then select the port that is allotted to usb to ttl and then select the baud rate as 9600 before clicking on connect at the bottom you can uh, you can set the macros at the bottom you can see set macros button and then m1 to m24 buttons so 24 macros you can set click on set macro a separate window will open from here you can send the AT command so first command is uh, for M1 AT plus PL so the if you check our uh, uh, folder folder name number is 01 and file names are 001 to 008 that is in decimal so we will be using the hex notation so AT plus PL equal to use the dollar symbol to send uh, uh, hex so 01 and again dollar symbol that is a file name that is also 01 that is a first file in hex and then finally a carriage written the carriage written for uh, in hex is 0d so use dollar symbol and 0d copy this command to all the other eight files and change the file name only so notice that while using uh, uh, hex notation we use only two digits 01 uh, 0208 and then now click on connect now One, let us test it click two, on uh, the button to test the four, playback of the five, files six, seven, eight. so uh, now let us try the decimal notation instead of uh, hex in the macros let us uh, uh, use the hash symbol for a decimal notation we have to use three digits so we will test the eighth uh, audio file m8 instead of uh, dollar let us change it to hash 001 for the first folder 008 for the eighth file to access and then 0d in hex for uh, carriage return or we can use the decimal notation which is 13 so you have to use hash 013 for the carriage return if you check at the ascii table you can see 013 is equivalent to 0d in hex for the carriage return now let us test the eighth file only eight so it is eight. what both dollar symbol and hash hex notation and the hash notation now let us check the pen drive model the connections are same remove the plus 5 ground connection and connect it to plus 5 and ground and the usb to ttl device rx to tx tx to rx and ground to ground the connections are same as we did for the flash model now let us prepare the pen drive connect the pen drive to your pc and right click and format remember to format in the fat32 mode if you format in the ntfs mode our board will not recognize so this is very important uh, there is format with the fat mode now you have to load the files open the pen drive folder and uh, create a folder 01 so 01 to 99 total 99 folders you can create and each folder can contain up to 255 files 00 to ff that is uh, 0 0 0 to 254 for sample we are loading some mp3 files that is uh, copyright free youtube mp3 files in the first folder and then in the second folder notice the uh, naming conversion of the folders folders 01 001 to 99 and uh, files 001 to uh, that is three digit in uh, three digit decimal remove the pen drive from the pc and plug it to your uh, 
audio board allow some time so that the pen drive is ready now let us test the access of files by this 8 pins so connect the ground wire and then uh, provide a ground pulse to the uh, pins 1 to 8 so the respective files will play back Next we will test it from the by providing the AT commands. Open the same terminal software. The same macros can be used to access the files. So that is from file 1 to file 8. So click on M1. So this is how to access the mp3 files using the audio board. Thank you for watching.